It's the world's most famous painting in the world's most famous museum. But exactly a hundred years ago, the Mona Lisa vanished from the Louvre in Paris in mysterious circumstances. All that was left was an empty space on the wall and an empty frame. The painting had gone. Today, in a small Italian town on the Swiss border, what happened is part of local folklore. Dumenza is the birthplace of Vincenzo Perugia, the thief. His grandson says Perugia stole the Mona Lisa because he wanted to protest against the fact that Napoleon stole lots of artworks from Italy. In fact, Leonardo da Vinci himself had brought the painting to France where it remained. Perugia was arrested in Florence after trying to offer it to art dealers. He said he acted out of patriotism and got seven months jail. The house where he was born still bears a plaque in his honour. For some, he's a hero. This man says, I'm sure the Mona Lisa is still here in Dumenza, hidden under a table, and the French only got a copy. I know it's a bit crazy, but I'd be happy if it's really like that. Much remains unknown about the theft of the masterpiece by a man described as simple who fooled the police for two years. A century on, amid slightly tighter security at the Louvre, only she knows the secret.